Do I believe that you should dry brush before your sauna session or even during the sauna session? Absolutely yes. Dry brushing has been around for a very long time and I believe that more people need to do it. Not just before the sauna session, but before hot baths. I think it's very, very effective. So you have to understand that with the actual lymphatic system, it is widely overlooked. That particular system has a lot of jobs. And I always explain to people, think about your lymphatic system being like a backed up sewage system at your home. If things are not moving, fluid is not running properly through the cells, if things are not moving and flowing and you're not able to reduce the type of waste that you need, you're going to have a distinctive BO smell under your armpits. You're gonna feel sluggish. You're gonna feel bloated. You're gonna have big ankles. Some people call them cankles. You're just not gonna feel good. That lymphatic system is widely overlooked and it's a system that controls so much. I hear people saying they have sore throats all the time, swollen lymph nodes. So with an actual dry brush, or even a jade roller for that matter, you are able to get blood flowing more and cellular waste moving so that when you do have bowel movements or you know, urine output, things are coming out as they should. Now I have my dry brush in front of me. You can tell it's been a little beat up <laughs> because I use it a lot. I use it before my baths or my showers and I even use it before the sauna. Sometimes I bring it in the sauna because again, when you're in the sauna, vasodilation is occurring. So the blood vessels are opening up, the blood is surfacing to the skin, the pores are opening, you're creating a sweat. But if I can get anything at all to get myself sweating better, and that lymphatic system is one reason why people don't sweat because the lymphatic system is clogged. It's backed up, it's like that backed up sewage system. So if I bring this into the sauna or I use it beforehand, I will make sure that I am using it in upward strokes. You always want to use it in upward strokes. And I tend to go on either side of my arm or both. And obviously you can't see in this video, but I'll do upward strokes in my legs. On my stomach, I will do circular motions. And then around the chest area, I will do circular motions. On my neck, I will do upward strokes. Now this one's a little bit big for the neck. So I actually do have a handheld smaller dry brush that I absolutely love and you can see it's kind of worn out too. And I do upward strokes on my neck. I will tell you that right through here is a great way to drain lymphatic, especially with a jade roller or a gua sha tool. So through here, I will come and I will do towards the jawline on either side and that's helpful to kind of help move that lymph a little bit better. Remember your lymph nodes are in your neck and the whole entire brain when you sleep drains. So it's really important too, if you are using this dry brush, I prefer that you do these kind of sessions at night because you typically will have a better night's sleep because your brain drains when you sleep. That's called the glymphatic system. So do I think that dry brushing is important overall? Absolutely yes. Would I recommend doing it before the sauna or even in the sauna? Yes, and you can continuously do it. You can, of course, take breaks because your hand might get tired, but keep moving that, that brush and upward strokes on either side and doing it um, on your legs and you know up your legs and circular areas. And you always wanna do clockwise. So clockwise towards the heart, clockwise towards the belly. And this one's great for the face. Typically when I'm in the sauna, I don't have any makeup on, so it's nice that I can actually get underneath here, underneath the, the, um, the eye. And I feel like my skin has looked better than it ever has. Not just from dry brushing, not just from jade roller or gua sha, but also just from an organic skincare line, a lot of hydration, good diet, and the sauna. So dry brushing, in my opinion, is crucial all the time but especially before hot baths and before a sauna session. If you'd like to learn more about getting your own clear light sauna at thesaunalife.com, please visit my website. Make sure you have liked this video, you are subscribed to Healing with Julie Bishop, 
and you comment below.